Good morning. It is Friday, April the 1st, 2022, and we've been doing some of these 52 Hebrew words that every Christian should know by Dave Adamson. The word for today is tsel, tsel. Uh, in English, we would spell it either T-Z-E-L or T-S-E-L, tsel. And it means shade. How do you describe God? This is a question I like to ask groups of people whenever I'm giving a message because it often underlines how abstractly and intangibly we define God. You see, most Western Christians usually answer by describing God as holy, almighty, omnipresent, or simply love. These are all true biblical answers but they also describe God in ethereal terms. If I asked you to paint a picture of God using one of these descriptions, you'd have to think abstractly. Maybe you'd paint the Grand Canyon for Almighty, which would require a lengthy explanation. Maybe you'd paint a heart for love, and then have to explain how it's God and not a Valentine's card. These answers aren't wrong, they're just abstract. If you ask a Jewish believer to describe God, they are more likely to use tangible concepts because the Bible says you can touch, taste, smell, and experience him. The psalmist describes God as the, quote, shade at your right hand, Psalm 121.5. The Hebrew word for shade is tsel, which means protection. Because I grew up in Australia, where temperatures in the summer soar above 45 degrees Celsius, 110 degrees Fahrenheit, this makes sense to me. The sort of heat I grew up in could buckle train tracks. So I understand the Hebrew idea of shade being protection. This makes God so much more tangible to me. Today, are you being burned by life? God wants you to know that he is your shade. Quote, whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow, cell, of the Almighty. Psalm 91.1. When you see shade today, let it remind you that God is with you. Father God, we thank you for your cell. We thank you for your shade, for your protection. In this environment of 2022, we certainly need it. Be with us today, for it's in Jesus' name we ask it. Amen.